Really like him, Trey. Seven career interceptions in high school, 13 career interceptions in Southern Illinois. I saw him against Western Illinois November 16th. He had 15 tackles in that game, one and a half tackles for loss. Nine of those 15 tackles were soloed, and he sealed the win when he recovered an onside kick into that game. He's really a guy who can really make plays in the passing game with those interceptions and those ball skills. Great range. He's 6'3", 221 pounds. He had 243 career tackles, 13 interceptions, 31 passes defense, and six forced fumbles. He had played a little cornerback as well. So you know they love that versatility and the fact that he takes those good angles as a tackler. Ball skills are outstanding. You're talking about a team that has a history and a tradition. Carolina, you talk about having those kind of guys with that kind of versatility there. Jeremy Chin, it wouldn't shock me if they tried him at corner. If he settles in at safety, fine. He's a heck of a player from the 1AA level. Yeah, real quickly, he uh, he was in the third round. Terry Taylor was actually a first-round pick of the Seahawks in 1984. But Jeremy Chin became so enamored with tackle football, he almost didn't even want to play flag football. He was one of those late bloomers, kind of like Kyle Duggar. He was a guy that took a long time to get that growth spurt in high school, and now it has paid off, and Jeremy Chin is going with the Carolina Panthers. Round three is now underway. Let's go back to the commissioner. With the 65th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Logan Wilson, linebacker, Wyoming. And there is Logan Wilson and family having to wait no longer than the first round, or the first pick, rather, of the third round to hear his name come off the board. And this is a kid from Casper, Wyoming. He said, wearing the yellow and brown, the gold and brown, meant something for me. His father, Trevor, wrestled at Dickinson State. Uh, what can we tell us, DJ, about Logan Wilson? Well, I think you're going to look back five years from now, we're going to talk about this being one of the best picks in this year's draft class. This kid reminds me so much of Fred Warner as you go back and look at him in his high school tape as a DB. And you see what he does in coverage at the college level. You can see how he started at the back end of the defense before he moved up once he got to the collegiate level there at Wyoming. He just got phenomenal coverability. His ability to, to be an athlete, move in space, match up, range sideline to sideline. You just see all of this high school athleticism. It pops when you study this kid on the college field. As we get to it right here, you can see he's quick to see it, sort it. And then he goes. There's no hesitation to his game whatsoever. And when you're in a division with Lamar Jackson and company, you better be able to play sideline to sideline and make plays. That's what Logan Wilson does. I, I love this pick for the Cincinnati Bengals. All right, there you see what they've done. They went Burrow and Ellis and T. Higgins on the first two picks. And now they've gone the defensive side of the ball. Solid shirt, by the way. we got to get it up for Logan Wilson on that part. Meanwhile, Ron Rivera and Kyle Smith now trying to figure out what Washington's going to do. Here's the commissioner. With the 66th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins select Antonio Gibson, running back, Memphis. All right, so... This is another one of a run on Memphis running backs we've seen over yeah, the last right. few years. Anthony Potter, Daryl Henderson in recent years. Lewis, what do we think of Gibson here? Look, Gibson is an absolute weapon. He can play just about anywhere. He can line up in the slot and just gas you down the field with his pure speed as a wide receiver. And his run after the catch is as good as anybody's in college football and coming out in this draft at about six foot, 220 pounds. He has tremendous home run ability. He can line up at running back and he could gas you for 100 yards there. He's the ultimate Swiss Army knife weapon. And I don't say that to just kind of like be blase about my evaluation of this guy. This guy is a legit home run threat and they will use him in so many ways you won't know where he's going to line up. That is a very good pick here in the third round for the Washington Redskins. All right, so you get the wide out Antonio Gibson and then you got Chase Young overall. Antonio Gibson is off the board. Lots more coming with us. The draft continues here on ESPN, the NFL Network and ABC. You're watching the 2020 NFL Draft, presented by Lowe's. Heidi, welcome to Cricket. Hola. Hey, y'all. Hi. 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 Stay safe. We're here to help you stay connected. 
Looks like they picked the wrong getaway driver. They'll be paying for this for a long time. They will, but with accident forgiveness. Allstate won't raise your rates just because of an accident, even if it's your fault. Hey! Sonny. Is that good? Line. The desert never lies. Isn't that what I said? Uh, no, you were talking about Allstate and insurance. I just... When I... Let's try again. I'm ready back to one. Accident forgiveness from Allstate. Click or call for a quote today. Gather round the cravings pack from Taco Bell. Four crunchy tacos and four beefy five-layer burritos for only ten bucks. Pairs perfectly with all your Taco Bell favorites. So grab a ten dollar cravings pack for your crew at Taco Bell's contactless drive-thru. Fine. No one leaves the table till you're finished. Fine. We'll sleep here. It's the easiest because it's the cheesiest. Craft for the win-win. Mentality was to go out and win at any cost. In a world where we expect instant, why wouldn't we expect our deodorant to dry in an instant? New Degree Advanced Protection Dry Spray goes on instantly dry for a cleaner feel. 72-hour protection in an instant. Ensure carefully. Dream fearlessly. We are running our COVID-19 technology response on Teams. I can actually share my screen and show the x-rays. We can do that in a visit like this. C'est le lien qui nous a unis pendant cette crise. Hey, don't forget Monday at 7 a.m. Good morning, football crew on NFL Network spots the biggest winners of the 2020 NFL draft. Good morning, football. Monday at 7, only on the NFL Network. We are rolling through the third round of the draft. The Lions are on the clock. There you see Matt Patricia and coach. Pencil tucked behind ear at all times. Bob Quinn, executive VP and general manager, working the phone. We'll find out what they are going to do as the Lions have gone with a couple of very solid players so far in this draft. Jeff Okuda, the cornerback, taken third overall, and then getting DeAndre Swift, the running back out of Georgia, in the second round. So what are they going to do with this pick, pick number 67, in the third round? The pick is in. Let's find out where they're going to go, and let's head back one more time to Roger Goodell. With the 67th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Julian Okora, linebacker, Notre Dame. So this means there's going to be a family reunion for the Okora.